Thursday. Got the kids coming in. Got the Women's HECO Invitational All Tournament team. Kelly, come in and have a seat. Glad you could join us tonight. Hi, thank you. How are you? Good, how are you? Doing well. Kelly Lomax, Northern Guilford Nighthawks, finished in the tournament in the number two spot. Yes. That did. felt pretty good. Yeah, it did. We were the first team uh, from Northern to make it to the championship, so that was exciting. That's always a good thing. Yep. And you had a good tournament, too. Yes. You had to to get this all yeah, tournament team record. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Yeah. I wrote down some things I remember about what the girls did during the tournament, things I thought were good, and uh, things that got my first impression. Your thing was down at low block, mm -hmm. maybe down the right low block. It seemed like you and Elisa Kanane both kind of took over that right low block, especially I think in the semifinal game, and your, maybe your round one game too, but especially the semifinal game, that's where you made uh, made your living, so to speak. Yeah, I did. I, that's my favorite spot to be at on the court, so I took advantage of that and made my shots there. What is the best part of your game, you think? What's your biggest strength, maybe? Hmm. Um, I think that my biggest strength, I like to shoot from the elbow. I like shooting from there and also posting up and kicking it back out to my teammates. I like to do that. I'm not a very selfish player, so. Is it one of those things, maybe like uh, elbow in, go from that spot on in toward the basket? That's yeah. your favorite spot? Yeah. 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 So anything, maybe the uh, five footer, three footer, the, yes. any close to the bucket. Around there, yeah. But that right block is so good. That's a good spot because you're going to get yeah. uh, sometimes some second shots down there. Right. Some of those, yep. some of those uh, second chance opportunities, as they say. Yes. How long have you been playing basketball? Uh, I have been playing basketball since I was five. I started the YMCA, the little leagues on the little goals. So I've been playing for a long time now. Did your parents uh, encourage you to start? They did. They, I was always like the tallest kid in my class, so they put good. me in basketball. Your girls on your girls team. Some of the girls on your team are actually taller than people would realize, but they all kind of uh, kind of get hidden sometimes by yeah. Elisa Kanane. I know so she is so tall. Because Casey Johnson is also kind of tall, but yeah. you forget she's also tall plus yourself. When you see Elisa, it's like man. The other girls, they look like guards, but uh, they're also forwards yeah. and uh, post players too. Yep. How much success do you think this team can have this year? What are you looking at? I know you've got a very, 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 very good conference. That conference we is outstanding. Do. You look at Burlington Williams, Eastern Guilford, Eastern Alamance, Rocking I mean, it goes on and on. Mm -hmm. How far do you think? What do you think this well, team can do? Well, as of now, we're 8 0 in mm -hmm. conference. Can't which do much is, better than that. Right. Very it's strong. very impressive. And we're a young team, but we're, we work very good together. So I think that contributes to our success. you got to like the youth of this team, too, right? Uh, yes, I do. The only difference is we've got to get a point guard because Sydney Wilson, I guess, is, she's a senior, right? Right. She's kind of running that point show. We've got to get somebody kind of following her footsteps. We, we have Cassie Robikevich, who uh, you also you do. You do. Is, That's right. Yeah. Number 11. Yep, following behind Sydney. She's coming along pretty well, she too. She is, yeah. And she's a freshman, right? She is a freshman. Mm, got to like this team. There's a lot of youth on this club, no yep. doubt about that. But Casey and Sydney, kind of the seniors, and then yourself and Cassie and Alisa, uh, and who else? What are the young? Uh, Sammy, little Sammy Furlow? Sammy Furlow, yeah. What she, year is she? She's a sophomore. Some good youth on this team. Do a lot of you girls kind of come up together through the ranks? We did. Um, we played a you together for a while and we played middle school together so we've bonded really good over the years so I think that's why we all get along so well and play good together. But you got going back at five years old at the YMCA. Which YMCA was it? Downtown or Spears. the Spears? Yeah. Out the Horse Bend Creek yeah. Road? Good area. Good area yeah. there. Do your parents, are they basketball people too? Um, they never played basketball but my brother and I both play basketball so we've grown up. Playing How old is your brother? He is 13. So he's actually just a little bit younger then. Right. Is he a Northern Guilford product too? He is. Is he in the? Uh, he's in the high school then, probably right. He's in middle school. He's still last year in middle school then. Yeah. And he's playing for the school team. He is. Good stuff. Good yeah. stuff. Kelly Lomax with us. Kelly, uh, memories of the Hayco tournament. I mean, you're just starting out as a sophomore, kind of. But uh, some memories of this year. Memories of this year. We'll obviously make it into the championship. That's a good memory. Um, we beat Paige for the second time, which was pretty good. And I just think the overall experience was really, really interesting to make it to the championship, so that was cool. And you look at it overall, what did you take out of that tournament with you? What do you think you took home out of that tournament? Um, what I took home out of that tournament would have to be that I played really hard the tournament. I had one goal was to get to the championship, and uh, looking back at it, I think I achieved that goal pretty well. I mean, um, it was really fun and a good experience. Experience, so. What do you think you have to do to get to the next level? Got to get that championship game. Uh, I think we need to play. Our team needs to play hard all four quarters. We just need to hold it together and you know not panic. But I think we can definitely get there because we're a young team, so we're obviously going to get a lot better in the future. So. And you played extremely well in that game against Northwest at Northwest because you were way down early, had a big lead on your girls, yeah. and you came back only got beat by two or three points against yeah. Northwest at their place. So you know you can play with those guys. Yeah, 
Yeah, we can. Yep. That's some good battles too. Yeah. I mean, on the court, it's got to be tough and very competitive. But outside, if you look yeah. at it, it's just some very good uh, talent on both teams. Your team and Northwest, and some good yes. competition. Yeah, Northwest is a very good team. That's a fun team to play. Yeah. You should play a team like that. In my opinion, you're only going to get better. Yeah. Playing exactly. that tough competition. Um, did you have a favorite moment from the tournament? What individual moment might stand out? Anything that really happened that uh, kind of stuck in your head? Um, I think actually getting the award, that was really cool. I didn't really expect it, and so that was probably my favorite moment. It paid off having that big semifinal game. I think it that did. was really big for yeah. you. Yeah. Because you hit a uh, double-digit score in that game, yeah. I'm sure. And probably you're probably getting close to those uh, 10 rebound areas, too, I would think. Yeah. And, and you see a lot of minutes. Now, do you start every game, or do you come off the bench some games? How does that um, I work? come off the bench some games, and I start some games. Just depends. Um, she, Coach Frollo really does base it off uh, who gives it all in her, their all in practice and stuff like that. So I come off the bench sometimes and I start. So it's one of those things you and the coach don't get together and decide, uh, well, I want to come off the bench this game. I want to start. Right, no, no. So she's got the call on yeah, that. Yeah, she's got the call. Good call there. Um, what's the part of the game you worked on the most last uh, off season? Um, I've really worked on my post moves and um, my outside shot. Do you like the post? Do you like to kind of, I mean, you mentioned you come up toward the elbow some too. Yeah. Do you see yourself kind of migrating, kind of drifting out, maybe the three-point range? I do. Uh, that's what I'm going to work on uh, in the future. That's so the I thing to do because uh, you, you see these players these days, even going back to the uh, situation a couple years ago when Samantha Kofer, bring her back. Mm -hmm. I mean, she was like, you know, tall as the world, but I she know. was a guard yeah. and she did it in college. So yeah. it prepares you for the next level. Yes, it does. And I... be able to shoot that outside shot. Just talk to those, uh, the two sisters over at Page. I mean, those kids, the kid uh, cargo show, we call those kids. Mm -hmm. I mean, being able to shoot that outside shot yeah. is big. Yep. Very big. Kelly Lomax with us. Uh, biggest influence on your basketball career other than your coaches? Who's been the biggest influence for you? Um, honestly, my, my parents have influenced me to become such a better player. They pushed me so hard, not never let me give up. So that's been a big influence on my basketball career. Um, and also, my coaches have never let me give up either. They push hard and all the time, and we practice hard. So that's been a big influence on my basketball. What do you say would be your favorite sport other than uh, basketball? Hmm, I did play volleyball in middle school. I think that was a fun sport. And also tennis is two of my favorite sports. Hmm, other but people. you can't wait. If, are you going to play any tennis this spring? Um, I don't think so. I'm working, really working on basketball. Basketball is going to be yeah. the goal right now. Yep. AAU, who's your AAU coach? Um, I don't, I'm don't. i not playing AAU right now. I used to play for um, the Gators when I was young and then the Lady Knights, which was the team that had all the Northern players on it, and then I played for Phoenix. So you've been there and done that on the AAU. I have, yeah. Go take a little break from that right yes. now then. But you'll probably get uh, a lot of individual workouts and things like that right, going yeah. in the off season. Uh, favorite class at Northern? Got a favorite class there? Um, I like chemistry mm. and AP World History. You're a good stuff academic, I can tell that already. Uh, favorite teacher? Um, my favorite teacher, Miss Mulry, my Spanish teacher. Mm -hmm. And that's going well for you. What level are you at in Spanish now? Spanish three. You're in three in the 10th yes. grade. Yes. Good stuff. Yes. Very credible there. How about, uh, got a least favorite class? Uh, math. Mm -hmm. Let the math go then. Yep. If you could add one class to the curriculum at uh, Northern Guilford, what class would you add? Is there a class you might want to see them add that you would like to be a part of or maybe even uh, help implement yourself? Hmm. I think maybe like global studies. I really like to learn about other cultures and I would like to tie that into what Northern is doing. Sounds like a good move. Um, of all the colleges out there, which one do you choose? Hmm. Hush Puppy I, College is not a reference. <laughs> I, <laughs> HPU, man. I got that I Hush Puppy U. Maybe Wake Forest. That's, really? That is where, yeah. My family is, uh, a lot of them would Wake Forest. Wake Forest connected? Yeah, and Carolina also. Wow, that's an interesting uh, diff differential, too. You got the Wake Forest side and Carolina side. Yes. But Wake Forest is a big lean, though. Yes. Um, where do you think you'll end up at in the grand scheme of things? Any ideas? Is it too soon to tell? Hmm. It's a little too soon to tell, but I hope to be at Wake Forest. Demon Deacon. Outside of uh, your sport, we got Cam Newton with the uh, Carolina Panthers. Uh -huh. You've heard of him. Yeah. Who's the coach of the Panthers? Ron Rivera. Man, this kid's doing good. You <laughs> passed it. Got that one. Uh, who's your school's quarterback? My school, Cam Harris. Yeah, you're on the money there. And uh, how about your coach out there? The coach for the football, football yeah. John Urosko. You got all this stuff going. She knows it all. <laughs> hey, we got a three on three game. This is hypothetical. Three on three game. I've got on my team, I've got myself, LeBron James, and I've got the big show from World Wrestling Entertainment. He's about six foot ten, played high school basketball. I kind of scored 60 some points in the game. My three versus your three. Who's your three? Um, can I pick anybody? Yeah, any two right. other people, yourself and I, two others. I would pick Elisa okay. to be on my team, and I would also pick. 
Tim Duncan. Tim, that's just, man, that's a great combination because you're going to do all the guard work exactly. or kind of the guard work, and those two are so tall. Amazing. I know. If you've got to pick two girls to join you in a three on three game, to be any three other girls anywhere, who, Alyssa, Alyssa's going to be one. Who's the other probably? Um, I would pick Skylar Diggins. Again, then? Skylar Diggins. Skylar Diggins. Mm -hmm. She played at Notre Dame. Wow. Good call there. I, I was going to think about Skylar Schufer. I know <laughs> that name from Northern Guilford. Yeah. Now you've gone beyond the realm of scope. Yeah. That's good. That's very good. Um, UNC Duke. State or Wake Forest among those who do you think has got the best overall basketball program, men and women in the state? You say Wake Forest or would you say another? Um, I would say either Wake Forest or UNC. Okay, and UNC men and women combined definitely yeah, very, very very strong. Good. If you had to go back and start all over again, do this whole basketball thing again, what would you do differently? Um, I think that I would have um, probably worked on my shot more when I was younger instead of always being in the big man inside. I probably would have moved outside a little more, but. But I think You've been a little more guard oriented. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Got any things you do special on game day? Any kind of superstitions? Um, anything you do? My team always prays for each game. As a team? As a team. Do you have like one team leader that carries a prayer? Everybody individually. We says all something? do it. We we have a specific like we get an order yeah. and like every time we win we stay in that order and when we lose we change up the order. Oh, that's kind of neat. I yeah, like that. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, if you got like a role model female basketball player, you know who's kind of a role model for you? Um, probably Maya Moore. She's always been my. That name came up earlier too. Yeah. What is her background? I need to know more about Maya Moore. She played at UConn and so yeah. she was really really good at UConn. I go back to Rebecca Lobo, but Maya Moore. That's the yeah. That's yeah. Well, listen, you passed the test. You <laughs> Thank can go you. Take a break. Thank Keep you up so good much. Work. A very successful continued career, too. Thank Keep up you. the good work. Thank